When you tune to your favorite radio station in your car, how does it know where to find the HD radio signal? Let's take a look at how FM and HD hybrid broadcasting works. In North America, digital terrestrial radio is transmitted in band and on channel, or IBOC. This means your radio, if it supports this feature, can automatically switch to a station's HD1 simulcast if there is one. The official name for HD radio is NRSC5, and there's a lot of documentation on the NRSC website. This is what an FM station looks like in RF. FM works by changing the frequency of the radio transmitter ever so slightly in response to sound waves picked up by microphones or output by music players at the station. You can sort of see the peak of this signal bounce back and forth as the app takes snapshots of what the radio sees. Here's another FM station, but this one has gigantic blocks on either side of the FM signal. Those gigantic blocks are the HD radio broadcast for this station. Many modern FM transmitters have a new superpower, the ability to also broadcast digital signals. This is called hybrid mode and it requires some upgrades and new equipment. First, you have to have an exciter that supports this hybrid mode. In analog FM, you would feed the FM baseband straight to the exciter from your stereo generator. We still do that from our Omnia 9 processors, but what's new is the data connection from the HD radio equipment. HD radio capable transmitters need two servers to send the digital signal. One is called the importer and the other is called the exporter. The importer dictates what services will exist on the broadcast and interacts with all the external services it brings in, like album art and secondary programs like HD2 and HD3 feeds. It takes all this and sends it to the exporter. The exporter gets this data from the importer, as well as a direct audio feed from the Omnia 9 processor for the MPS, or HD1 feed. HD1 will always be a simulcast of the analog FM signal. It then multiplexes all this data and sends the packet stream to the exciter over a network connection. The exciter generates the OFDM sidebands and sends them from the primary RF output alongside the analog FM signal. This significantly reduces the DC RF efficiency of a transmitter. You can get 75% efficiency from modern solid state transmitters in analog mode, but running in hybrid mode can take it as low as 50%. Your power amplifiers also need to be able to handle a wider signal. In North America, with 75 kilohertz deviation, an analog FM signal will occupy just over 150 kilohertz of bandwidth. The two 69 kilohertz digital sidebands, along with a 30 kilohertz guard band, will take that signal width to 400 kilohertz. American broadcasting has always had this weird thing about compatibility from the sum channel inside the analog FM signal to compatible color that didn't immediately make black and white TVs obsolete to HD radio. We'll come back to this subject another time, so until then, follow for more.